Hi, Joe Coffey here for PremierGuitar.com. We're at NAMM 2008. If you saw the Super Bowl in 07, you saw Prince perform, or the artist formerly known as, you know that he had a few iconic guitars on that stage. The players will notice that there's a certain Tele-style guitar that really stood out. We're here with Honer, the guys who make that guitar, and I've got Rick Galliano with me here. Rick, how you doing? Hi, doing, Joe. Great to see you, man. Good to see you. Tell me about the Prince guitar. Well, the Prince guitar, you know, most people know that Prince has been pictured with that guitar for close to 25 years now, and it was it was a historic model that we made back in the 70s. It was a handmade uh, Japanese guitar. So what we did when I joined the company about a year and a half ago, the first thing I noticed was people were requesting the guitar over and over again. So I got together with some people in Prince's camp, and I said, we've got to reissue this guitar. So tell me all the little tweaks and buzzes that you guys have done to his instrument. So this is the, the recreation of the closest thing we can get to the instrument Prince plays every, every time he gets in the studio. I noticed the bridge pickup is way down there. Exactly, bridge pickup placement is unusual. Quite frankly, it is not a normal kind of Telecaster sound, although it is a familiar, familiar control panel. What you'll find is it's got a lot of bite, a lot of raspiness because of the pickup placement and the Tesla Alnico pickups that are in it. How much does that run? That's a 1049 list with a case, maps out at about $799. And you've got a, a souped up version too. We do have a souped up version. We're also glad to introduce the Artist Elite. Now this is a hand-built Czechoslovakian instrument with hand-wound Hoysel pickups. It's made of swamp ash with a flame maple top and back. This comes in at $24.99. These are custom hand-built, made to order, so four-month lead time on these. Tell me about this one, this black telly style, that's hot. This is a great guitar. It's kind of, if you can call it a super telly of sorts. We've got the hand, hand wand hoisel pickups as well with a humbucker in the bridge and a Wilkinson Strat style trim. Note the detail, hand inlaid ebony and maple binding and custom Sprezel locking tuners at $24.99 as well. This has been a big hit at the show. Very cool. Now you guys uh, are in charge of Laney amps as well. I understand there's a new line out. Absolutely, we've got a couple different things happening with Laney. First, we've got a new cosmetic direction that we're unveiling at NAMM, and then we've also got the Lionheart series of amps, which are new. You want to take a look at them real quick? Go take a look. And here we are with the new Laney Lionhearts. Great sound and amplifiers. First thing you notice about them is they've got a very boutique kind of look yeah. and feel to them. So we went up scale with a honeycomb grill. But what's really great about the Lionhearts is the guts. These are Class A, single-ended or parallel, double push-push circuits. So you're getting both sides of the tube working all the time, which is great. We've got a 20-watt engine in this bad boy here. So four EL84s working in tandem, produce 20 watts of output, but it's a very loud 20 watts. We've got three 12AX7s up front. Class A push-push circuitry is the key to the best-sounding guitar amplifiers. Laney's done it with the Lionhearts. This guy features four Jensen P10 Alnico Blue Label speakers. For a nice crisp, for a nice crisp type of uh, basement on steroids, if you would, and also in the Laney Lionheart family, we've got a 20 watt head version that mates up nicely with a twin 12 cabinet, and we've got a 5 watt perfect studio amp with a single EL84 and a Celestian G12H Heritage. Unbelievable sound, unbelievable value from Laney. What kind of players are you seeing interested in it? Well, it's funny with the Lionheart, it really runs the gamut. Uh, the 5 watt and the 20 watt really appeal to everybody from your country guys, pickers and grinners, uh, cover band guys. A lot of guys are buying the 212 head combo for gigs because it's plenty loud. Uh, I've sold some to some heavy metal guys that are looking for a different tone. The thing about it is because of the circuitry and because of the sag that's created in the power amp, uh, they're very expressive. So you get kind of all the beauty of an old uh, boutique amp combined with modern electronics and PCB board technology allows them to keep consistent build levels. Very cool. Rick, thanks a lot, man. Thanks again, Joe. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thanks. I'm Joe Coffey. You're tuned in to PremierGuitar.com.